my gosh, can you believe it? It is race season 2023. Got some boats testing. Looks like they're testing their launch on the start. Well, honestly, I don't know if that guy's full tilt just going, why won't it go? Uh, oh, can you hear it? Listen to that shaft. It is about to blow up. Yeah, he's bringing it in. Oh yeah, his shaft just let go. All right, let's take a look. Here we go. Starting at the champion end of the pit here. John Olson's gorgeous country boys. John, looks like you did a little bit of work over the winter, huh? Oh, well, yeah, okay. No, not really. No, not really. Uh, here's what we did U95. Check this out. This is brand new, isn't it? Yeah. Is any chance we can look underneath? Oh, look how slick. Where's the magnets? I don't even see them up here. They're uh, right here, right here, and then under the paint. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, John, next level. <laughs> <laughs> it's under the paint. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I think they only lose like like 8% over 15 years something or something. Like that, I yeah. think you should be good. <laughs> that is awesome. CMB, pretty much the only show in town anymore. You can't buy the no, uh, Nova Rossi's anymore. But uh, Olsen boys have had these CMB's singing for years. So I actually picked one up. I'm looking forward to, to trying it. Thank you, John. You betcha. Country boy, champion. Yeah. Yeah, you look at your heat draw and you're like, Olsen, Olsen. You're like, ah, oh, dang it. Here we go. Beautiful Squire shop. U64. Who's the driver? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's me. This ought to be my boat. But it is not. I'm guessing that one's out on the water somewhere. Anyway, here we are. We're in beautiful Finley, Washington. First race of the season for RC Unlimited's. Oh my gosh, we're going to look at a brand new boat. Dave, Dave who? Hi, Engelhart. Dave Engelhart. Now, happy to be here. Brand new driver, absolutely scared spitless. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and here is his beautiful Lincoln Threat. I recognize that motor. You got one of my motors. That's right. That comes from M5 Performance. You can order all these parts, including the block and everything, if you have open, open uh, engine well there from Rattlesnake RC. Actually, where you should get all your parts, just like that, which is also one of my printed drivers. Dave, you're a good man. Thank you. Look at the finish on this boat. You're totally screwing this up for the rest of us. Did you do that yourself? Oh, unbelievable. Okay, are you really that good a painter or did you spend forever cutting and buffing? I used to paint cars. Use what? Oh, you used to paint cars. Golly, I hate guys like you. I mean, I, I like yeah. you, but I, I really dislike you at the same time. Could we pop the top? Could we have a look? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice touch. Well done, sir. Thank you. Oh, look how clean. Uh, you have a loose rubber thing? Yeah, I just, I got to okay. oil it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right, so what motor do you have here? Plus, it is a Gizmo 30 plus. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Is it run good? I yeah, it's I, too fast for you. Well, right now it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's beautifully clean, Dave. That's great work. Is this an ML Boatworks kit? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. And did, did you make a lot of modifications? Ah, uh, just the bottom. Is it pretty close to? The uh, bottom and the sponsor. Oh, you did make some. Oh yeah, I can but that's tell. From, uh, I can tell. The early 80s. That was my remembrance of. Oh, okay. So you were you were uh, making it scale. Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah. You were working real hard to. Yeah, that's beautiful, Dave. That's nicely done. Thank you for giving us an inside look here. Look how far over he's got his rudder. Look at that, man. I'm gonna be watching that. And he's got a he's got a uh, eight scale rudder on there. Yeah, boy. Well, I'm learning. No, I love what you're doing. I'll, I'll bet it'll work fine. I, I think we overkill the rudders on these things. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Thanks. 
Moving on, we got a lot to do because I got to go racing soon. Oh, here's the one they picked up. I'm not sure what the deal is. Oh, you just taking in a ton of water? Well, it's dying. I'm oh. my seal job. Ah. Okay. This gives us a great opportunity to take a sneak peek at the Sponsons here. A little engine well. We've got a good ramp on it here. Don't do those rounded guys. Come on now. <laughs> awesome. So how's that shaft looking in there, Fred? In here? Yeah. <laughs> I heard it coming around that corner. I thought, oh my, that shaft's done. Oh, is the strut bushings let go? Okay. Gosh, beautiful paint pack though. You guys might remember if you go back through my videos, we did a uh, kind of a video tour of that boat when it was brand new. Oh, this is another Olsen boat. This is Fred's unbelievably fast paint pack. <laughs> Almost unfair. What I'm going to do is get a really good sideways image right here, and then later I'll just scale this, and then I'll make measurements on the pipe. <laughs> do what Fred's doing. That's a trick I learned long, long ago, is you do what the fast guy does until you can, until you can okay, start to catch up, and then you can start experimenting. Okay, that's a big boat. Here we are into the Miss U.S. gasser. I'm going to say that's pretty doggone nicely done right there. Look at that. Cool gauges. Excellent. Let's take a look at the boat. Okay. I'll scale this later and check the angle on that fin. <laughs> You guys think I do these videos for you, and no, that's for me. Probably another gizmo there, looks like. Don't, don't you love this here? I mean, I just love it when the real boat builders were always trying new stuff. Golly, look what we missed over here. Beautiful Miss Rock Electric. This open hull deal here, this is just awesome. How much room do we go? Oh, look at that, he painted it. He painted it so you wouldn't know. That's lead right there. <laughs> but chalk this under, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to make the boat work. Desperado. See, this could be my boat too if that said desperate, because most of the time when I race, I'm desperate. Awesome. Electric Atlas. I'm listening, don't worry. If something starts running, we'll go, we'll go, uh, we'll go show you. We're getting real, real close to race time right now, so that's why I'm shooting the video right now, and then I'm gonna have to go. My boats are ready. We'll get to them in a minute. Unbelievable craft here. Of course, I'm in Don Mox pit, and so that's why everything just looks ridiculously gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. You probably can't see it. Uh, good looking driver figure in there. I'm gonna guess that visor flips up too. It's got a couple screws. Got some knobs and controls. And you know what? That's gonna be seriously scaled because Don worked on a lot of the big boats. Still does. He, he works, uh, he restores um, the vintage Unlimiteds at the Hydroplane and Race Boat Museum. Maybe I'll put a link to the Hydroplane and Race Boat Museum. Um, any of you guys that like to do this or just dig vintage or whatever, become a member at the museum. It, it opens up a lot of cool videos and stuff for you. Um, and plus, it supports the restoration of all these super cool old boats and so that's awesome look at those Budweiser oh my gosh there's just something about the Budweiser it, I mean if you're an old guy like me you just it you loved and hated the Budweiser all at the same time you, you loved it because the if you've ever been to one of the races I, I live here in Tri-Cities Washington where they run the Columbia Cup it used to be the Atomic Cup way back when but the Budweiser crew, that was one of the first things when I was a kid that I watched, and I thought, that's how you do racing. I mean, the moment that boat showed up, a whole bunch of guys in crew uniforms jumped out and got after it and cleaned it, cleaned the trailer, cleaned the pit area, and it never stopped. I mean, the entire program was pristine all weekend, no matter what. They blow the bottom out of the boat, they'd, they'd load up, run up to Seattle, work on it all night long, race day they were back, and they'd go out and win. It was insane. 
It is. This, I'm, I'm detecting a theme here. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea why that's taped over. There was a boat that actually ran his boat. Maybe it ran without the graphics or something at some point. I have no idea why they're doing that. That's a good looking gasser. Oh my, again, you're an old dude like me, check this out. Is that insane? Here's something that was pointed out last night at our uh, awards banquet. Let me get down like this. Look at where the driver is in relation to the engine and the hull. David Williams uh, was our guest speaker and it was awesome. He, he has driven, I, I think they said he has driven more different hulls, uh, unlimited, than any other person in history. And this is one of the ones he has driven. And he said it's just the most bizarre thing ever because you're way up above the hull and way up above the engine. He said it's just the most unique feeling ever. And I'd never thought about that before, but clearly this is done scale with the driver way up in the air. And that's fabulous. I don't even know if this is a nitro or... This is an electric. <laughs> Either that or venting the exhaust inside so it's going to run for about 10 feet. Gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, you guys know this boat, especially if you're an old dude like me again. Hey, Fred. This is just drop dead gorgeous. See that? One of my earlier videos we talked about this. This material is called Soric. I've had a number of you guys comment saying, well, what about this filler and that filler to, to make a thicker, you know, like imagine this being a structural piece of material here that you want to make. You lay this up with fiberglass this thick, it'd be super heavy. <clears throat> Pardon me. What you're looking at here is foam. But then the honeycomb part that you see, that's actually a place where epoxy can soak in. So you can join two halves of material via this little epoxy foam, um, uh, honeycomb area, but still be ultra light. And so I, I've thought many times about just laying up a whole bunch of Soric flat panel and using that for interior structure someday. I'm, I'm putting that down under the someday category. Because, I mean, you solve all the problems of wood, right? Nothing's going to soak into it. Wow, that's beautiful hardware right there. Come on. All these guys making guys like me look so stupid. What is it? Is this flotation? Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. That's flotation right there. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah, especially a good idea on nitro boats. That's awesome. Let's see. Where were we? Okay. Scorer's table. Man, we got a long ways to go. All right. I'm going to pick it up. This is Randy Galsine. Hasn't made a whole lot of races in recent years, but here he is. So good to see you, Randy. Yeah, good to be here. Say hello to the world. Isn't that a beautiful bar doll? This is all painted, is it not? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> More power to you. <laughs> oh, I think it's Mike Malloy's Circus Circus. It is super great to see Mike back. Mike's had some, uh, hey, he's had some personal slash physical challenges. Beyond challenges, really. If you're the praying type, Mike can sure use your prayers. He's really struggled for years. He's just a young guy and and, uh, and just had a terrible time with some issues. But, but look at that. Meanwhile, here's a great looking boat that always runs fast. So, you know what? Don't ever give up on life, man. I can see that the cowlings popped, so I'm just I'm just gonna take liberty here. There we go. There we go. Dang, another CMB. I was noticing earlier today that everybody's so doggone fast. Now I'm looking underneath the hoods, and they've all got CMBs in them. So. I'm gonna join the club pretty soon. I love my Nova Rossies. Don't get me wrong, because just nothing ever goes wrong with them. Uh, back in the day when I ran CMBs all the time, they were just really finicky. But as I understand it, the the cranks are pre-balanced now, so you don't blow plugs like they used to. Uh, apparently, they're a lot more robust that way. I'm gonna. This is only because I know Jim real well. 
Uh, let's see, it goes forward. Yep, that's what I figured. Now that's an older one there. Look at that old faded green top. I mean, it's, you might think that'd be heavy looking at the size of it, but it's really quite nice. Excellent. Thank you for allowing me the intrusions here. Here we go, the Hallmark. Now you don't want to look under there, right? Yeah, because it's electric. <laughs> no, don't send me no hate mail, guys. I'm starting to look at electric. It, it's There's becoming more and more and more, and I'm starting to read the writing on the wall, and uh, sooner or later, it's a thing that I'm going to learn and run. <laughs> Just because. Okay, over here's what happens if you show up late. You wind up hitting all the way at the back by the caution tape because the pits are full. I'll tell you what, it's a good problem. Look at this Pringle. This thing's been around for a while. Oh, hold the phone. Okay, that's David Brent's uh, Miss Rock Gasser. That's the champion, many, many, many times champion. And his boats are awesome. Let's watch it run. It's, uh, it's unusual for David to be running this late in the uh, testing before the race starts. So maybe he's struggling with something, I don't know. Holy crap. Oh, okay, it's misfiring, but my gosh, it's moving fast. Oh, nice and clean. Okay, he must have lifted. Look at that. Try to compete with that. Holy crap, dude. Look how rock steady. Uh, oh, hopefully he tries a troll here. This is what I need to know. Just how slow he can go on the troll. Uh, okay, laid off a tiny bit, but not much. Painting the booties. I was going to show you that one. That's a brand new Nitro. Of Stephen Kinney. Okay, your last boat out will be the Miss U.S. Oh, uh, yeah. They just called this his last boat to be run. Geez, look at that. It's brand new this weekend. And Steven is a, a fairly new member of the club, but boy, did he pick things up quick. Look at that. That thing's still turning on all the way down. Man, it's going to be that kind of day. Wish me luck, everybody. <laughs> Good night. That's enough of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm intimidated. Let's try to finish up. Where was I? Oh, here we go. Look at this. Brand new Esquire products of Bill Brandt. Electric. Here's that M5 performance motor I was telling you about. Yeah, I think it's just that little thing. Worked super hard on the detail. Worked super hard on getting these to print beautifully to where you have, don't have to do any filling, no sanding. You know, if you really, really, really wanted to knock out every possible line, you, you, could, uh, you could do that. All drivers, all drivers to the driver's stand. There you go. Yeah, I'll buy Yep. Holy schmoly. David, that uh, looks like you need another five miles an hour on that gaster. I'm going to bring it over your house and tune it. <laughs> Oh, there's okay, a theme. Driver, there's another, there's another one. The Remember, Rattlesnake RC. Best motor you ever seen. where you get it. All right, guess what? I got to go to the okay, driver's the meeting. And holy the cow, we're not done. I'll try to get all these for you later. And we almost made it to my pit. There you go. I got some news about the gasser I'm going to tell you guys about later. Okay. 
gotta go wish me luck more video later thanks for watching like and subscribe share it with a friend good morning karen uh, uh okay feature. picking it up here top two out of that don't really remember okay. for sure where i left off i think this is it a pair of miss houston's here looks like gas and electric Today, as I understand it, I think we have 18 in each class. Nitros, electrics, and gas, which is unbelievable. This is the one we just watched. Okay, yeah, we're back in the right spot. This is uh, insane, ballistic, stupid fast. Makes it look easy. Boat. Identical hull here. Also stupid fast. New driver, Lexi Brandt, driving the lumber bill, lumber, lumber bill, <laughs> lumber bill today. You nervous? Little. Little, yeah. I'm excited. Oh, check this out. We are in Brooklyn's pit. Brooklyn, tell me about your boat. Hey, by the way, there's a video series of this boat. I'll put a link to her channel and you can uh, it, you go, go to the description. You click the little thing that says more and it'll expand out and there'll be a link there. Go check out, she has the build series of this gorgeous Miss U S. So what do we got here? What kind of motor is in these things? Do you know? Am I asking you things you don't know? <laughs> this one I made on your own. Your dad picked up the motor. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> is it okay if I kind of get close here and see? And maybe people that want to build one can see what kind of speed controller that is. And the battery as well. Okay. Beautiful Miss US. As I understand it, now is this boat pretty much identical to your dad's other's boats, just scaled down, right? Oh. So you just go in the computer and just change the scale size and make your plans and print it up. Unbelievable. That is gorgeous. Can I pick up the cowling? Yes. Ooh, nice and light. Now, did you guys... Did you make your own mold and make the cowling yourself, or is this something that's available somewhere? No, it came from, it was the ML, the ML. and then oh. it was two pieces. M ML Boatworks has tent scale uh -huh, I think so. cowlings? Because we got it in one kit, I believe that's where Stephen got it from. Oh, I did and not know this. Cut it, put it together. Really? That's amazing. Okay. I will check that out. Hey, that must be one of my drivers. It looks just like one of my printed drivers. Are you doing your own? Or is that one of mine? Really? <laughs> right? That's gorgeous. Thanks, Brooklyn. Good luck today. Don't be scared. I don't know. I've been doing this for years, and I'm always scared. So here's the deal. Uh, the patriarch, the, the, the paterfamilias of the family, built all three of these boats with Brooklyn's help, believe it or not, this winter. Is that amazing? Did I get the Budweiser? Uh, no, I'm coming there next. Gosh, Bobby. So, yeah, brand new. And what's it do? It goes really, really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One tenth scale. Check this out. There's an, there's an over Rossi. <laughs> Finally. Me too. Gosh. I hate a guy like this, man. I work all winter and don't get a boat done. He builds three. We didn't spend much time in my pit yet. You've seen my stuff before, right? So many times. The Infinity Car Audio here, ready to go. I figured something out. Maybe we'll talk about it later. It's running pretty good. The Stro, almost hesitate to show you this one. It's still beat to death. Cowling's all beat up. As you know if you've watched my series, if not, subscribe to my channel and go back and look at uh, older videos. you got to go a, way back, a ways back, but I've had to replace each sponson for blowing it off of this boat on different occasions. And, however, so the cowling still looks rough, but yet, oh yeah, she looks brand new inside. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. Which is amazing because I didn't do anything this winter. I took it down off the shelf. I dusted it off. I grabbed hold of the 
flywheel and twist it a little bit and I thought that eh, feels pretty good and I run it and it's insanely fast actually too fast for me still trying to figure out how to settle it down hey Bobby how about we look at the Budweiser of course I do Check out the driver. okay let's look at the driver oh are you kidding me that's me brother <laughs> Well, now I'm even more scared than I was before. <laughs> I am too, because that's another mug. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a big kiss. Oh, taste, that's <laughs> awesome. You too. Good luck today. Thank you too. It's a great looking Budweiser you right there. Captran Resorts. Come on. Oh, look at this. Okay, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> you know what? Everybody gets busy and it's hard. You can't repaint the boat every winter. Oh, here! Oh, a lot of you guys will dig this. You younger guys will like this because you'll remember boats like this. The Grand. Look at the finish on that. God, it's just stupid. I'm gonna key it later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't use the fob for my car because it's just a little. Yeah. What do you mean we're going on the clock? You're on the clock. Electrics. Okay. I won't freak out too bad. Tenth scale. Oh. Oh, this is this. Are, are the new kids in it? Yes. Oh, let's go check this out. Now, now don't judge too harshly, you guys. And, and it's not super duper exciting to watch a 10th scale boat run a huge course. But let's watch it anyway. 120. You got brands all over the place now. Okay, so there's Brooklyn's boat. One Lumberville right there. That's Lexi. Coming up all one minute. Let's see. I'm not entirely certain who's driving the others. One minute. Let's, let's take a look at all the people that are scared to death. 55. Awesome. 50. All right, 50 seconds. Hang in there. Maybe I'll fast forward this 45. Part. Oh yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll fast forward it and it'll look super fast. Here, I'll do that when it comes around the front. Watch this boat go. Okay. 17, 16, Let's see, where are we at? 15, Ooh, 14, some guys are up early. 13, guys, 12, gals, and 11, gals. Oh, they're going 10, around again. 9, 8, oh, my. 7, 6, 5, 4, What are we doing? 3, 2, 1. Had one boat at the Here's line. The on the start. Oh, on the you know, you know what it is. One right on the buoy line. I forgot about this. The modern hulls really? start Ooh, at, on the back stretch, and the round noses start on the front. With Miss U.S. and the Lumberville in tow in third. Here comes the Alberto in the home street. Sorry, I'm trying to get on. one down for Cozy. That's your leader in the moderns. Whoa, the Lumberville got shot up in the air. Oh, spun. A spun boat for the Alberto. That keeps going. For all those boats. I'm going to try to find, I believe that's going to be on the front your leader five. in the round nose, and overall still. Look at this battle leader. for a second. Oh, that's a one-lap penalty on the coach. Oh, hit a buoy. a buoy. That puts the Alberto in the lead. Sorry, I'm yeah, off it again. Let me back up a little bit. Two, Here we go. Lane two, front stretch, lane two. Good job, drivers, for avoiding it. Oh, look at that. That's unfortunate. Alberto, oh, another dead boat on the back stretch. It's upside uh -oh. down. So what do we have Flag now? number three. We're on lap number three. I'm guessing this is your overall leader. Winner, Roberto. Oh, that's the winner. Let's see who we got in second. Second place is going to be the U.S. Oh, Followed by the home street. Standing. That's Brooklyn in her first ever race. Coming home in fourth is the Sutton Spirit. It just crosses all right, and turns driver. out. Good job, driver. Bring him on in. Avoid all the Excellent. dead bolts. Excellent. I think gas is up next, which means me really, really soon. Actually, I think I'm in C. I'll have a couple minutes. Maybe I'll even get to the first gas race, all right? But I don't want you to miss some of these boats, so moving on. 1A, Miss US. Yeah, 1A. Oh, smokes. We're in the trucking here. We're in the bracket pit. That's why all the boats are pristine and have beautiful paint jobs. Oh, wait, I'm going to zoom in on this because I like to show a defect in the bracket pit whenever I can find one. Okay, there you go. There's a repair there. <laughs> well, it's it's pretty unusual. Okay, look at this brand new hull. Now I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. You ready? You remember Steve Kinney who built those three brand new, perfect, beautiful, gorgeous Miss U.S.'s? 
He also built this over the winter. Can you believe it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You guys are going, what? No, that's a thing now. Now this is owned by Bo Raring, who is in Seattle, and he did this portion himself while the real boat was right behind him. He'd measure, then he'd cut, he'd measure, then he'd cut. This is dead nut scale. So is this. Isn't that something? <laughs> Holy cow. These Seattle guys, they have all the fun. Look forward to seeing that boat soon. Woo, boy, put your sunglasses on. Look at that. Golly. Must have needed some weight in front, huh? <laughs> Gosh, that's awesome. I wish you guys were here where you could really see it. One A of gas. Super fast gasser right here. Running a quick draw. Mark and pass. Beautiful boat. I'm mildly disappointed that he built this boat. As you guys know, I like running boats. Maybe you don't know. I, I like building holes that, uh, that where the original boat was automotive powered. And this one was. Where's the cowling? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, see. Nothing but a V8 engine in it, which means it was a terrible unlimited. But uh, uh, it's an awesome gas scale. Charlie's girl here. We have a meeting of the minds. Look at that's not how it happened, Jimmy. No, nah, Jim, I was right there. I was watching. That's not how that happened. <laughs> that's not it at all. It was all you. It always is. <laughs> we were just we were just told on right there. I tried to talk ourselves. myself out. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, this is what we call courage right here. Uh, lots of courage. If you're willing to build this this boat with this paint job, which I love, don't get me wrong, I've looked at this many times and I've thought, nah. But check it out. And that's all paint. Is it? Uh, no. Well, I spun my boat and I. Yeah. Are you serious? Right that's, he said it's all paint. The kit, the it's all paint. And you can't even feel it. Nope. This is cutting and buffing and scuffing and re and cutting and buffing and clear it again. And so I just get a cry when it happens to that. Yeah, see, how hard do you drive when, you, when you're running something like this? Right? You race the wind. <laughs> yeah. You're like, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> oh, but that's so stupid. Oh, gorgeous 10 scale. I think we just watched it run. All right, Finley, here comes gas. Here comes gas. I got gas. Finley watches Literally, now. figuratively. Oh, Whitey, you're going right now. All right, go get real. Go get him, Whitey. How you feeling? Is the boat good this weekend? Yeah, I think yeah. So. good, good. Miss US. Beautiful Miss US. We're going to get a quick look. This is Derek. What's your last name? Pierce. Derek Pierce. Derek Pierce. Good luck out there. Thank you very much. Beautiful round nose Miss US. Look at that. Good. He's getting ready to race, but he still uh, has the courtesy to give us a beautiful beauty shot here. Oh, faux pas. I'm sorry, but uh, you know oh, me, yeah. I'm very judgmental. Sticks are in the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not driving around those. You, you nailed it. You're, you're no, that's, that's true. That's true. There's actually some wisdom there. Look at this, man. I bet he got it down off the shelf and got ready to come out this year, and he's like, oh, crap, I forgot about that hole. <laughs> you had a Hobby Lobby last night. I've been there. Wood. Yeah, yeah, he's a Hobby Lobby grabbing what? wood. Oh, serious? Hobby he was? USA. Oh, why didn't you say so? I, I mean, I live 30 minutes away. We took it over there and fixed it. These guys. Olympia beer. Did we reach the end? No. No, we did not. Oh, it looks like. On the clock. Oh, Beep. Jeff, Jeff's winding Beep. up to go. All right, people. Beep. Quick look. This thing is awesome. Oh, he stood the motor up. The motor used to be in there. All right, I'm going to show you the last couple boats, and then we'll watch this one race, and then I got a goal. Oh, look at that. It's molded right in. Doesn't need to do anything under there. He's like, ah, I'll glue it down. Now, real courage would be putting the engine on and gluing it down. Then you're... 
Then you've really done something. What'd that miss? Oh, Eagle Electric. You really have to be old like me. I remember watching this thing bob around out here. Colonel Warner Gardner driving. It was fast. It was a great boat. All right. Believe it or not, we made it to the end. How many was that? I think I was told 58 boats total. If you think it's hard to win here, you are correct. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Run. Get a ball. Get it. Okay. We're not even going to try. That's unfortunate. I would. A uh, minute and a half, man. Plenty of time. Grab it. Fire it up. Go. Sorry, I know you want to watch the boats. I'm heading. I want to be close to start finish. So it'll be set for this year after you've got boats. That's 10. 70s and 80s are out here. Jim White, Mike Hen Henrickson there. What David man? Brandt right here. John Olsen in the country boy. I'm going to tell you something right now. This one is, uh, is about as close to a final as you can get. Race winner there. Race winner there. Race winner there. Two of the three are champions. I don't know if Mike's won a race yet, but he has the speed for sure. 35 seconds. What you're witnessing right now is them fighting, trying to outsmart each other and get the inside lane. And okay, David Brandt Park there. 13, at 13 12, at the entrance 11, pin. 10, 9, 8. He pushed seven, out a little bit to six, try to buy some time. Five, now he's going, four, oh my gosh, we're early. Three, two, one. So that boat on the outside jumped the gun. Look at that rock take off. From a dead nut slow crawl in lane one and gone. Okay, that was the Charlies that jumped. Okay, there's John Olsen in second. Jim White in the Atlas there, that's your third place. White flag, white flag. Just like that. Oh, I missed Whitey going down. And one more lap to go for the country boy. Oh, that's unfortunate. One more lap for the Charlie's go. Country boy, I have finished in second. You had a dead boat at the end of the back stretch. Okay. Here's your winner. So, your winner, Dave Brandt. Second place, John Olson. All right, guys. It's been fun. I got to go do that. Hopefully, I'm going to do what The Rock did. We'll see. Okay, talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Later, bye.